said, uh, regards to Nigerian uh, uh, South African relationship. You know, I remember those days when we were young, uh, back uh, when we were still small, going to elementary school and even secondary school, that you have to pay what is called the survival levy first before you pay your school fees. <coughs> that survival levy, they will gather it in the whole of Nigeria. Then, and they will package the money. They will send that money to the Koto Seas West and the and the fact and the ANC government. In fact, to use it to sponsor them to fight apartheid then in South Africa. That our school, uh, what is it called, uh, survival leave is more important more than the school fees. Because if you didn't pay it, you won't come inside the school board. School fees, you may attend the school board. Survival levy, you will fight. If you didn't pay it, you won't come to school. So, Nigerian and South Africa have come a long way because in fighting the apartheid government, Nigeria contributed over 100% to ensure that this apartheid regime is being dismantled and destroyed. Obasanjo, our president, told us on the, on the record, and the as a matter of fact, you can check in the internet. Nigeria has spent over six billion US, six six billion US dollars, over six billion US dollars to fight apartheid government in South Africa, in Southern Africa, whether it's in Zimbabwe, whether it's in Namibia, whether it's in Angola, somewhere there. And all this is were made possible through our school fees that we pay. One of the problems we have in South Africa here in, in here is because. In school, they don't teach them about African education. Because by the time you taught people about African education, they will know that there is a country called Nigeria. They will know that there's a country called Mali. They will know that there's a country called Mauritania. But because in school, they don't teach them African education. Ask somebody in, on the street, if I where is Nigeria, some of them will say, I don't know. I thank God for what you said about watching Africa magic because some of the people thought that Nigeria lives in the mountain or don't even have a house. <laughs> you understand? So all these things are the problem because if the school here teaches them about African history, they will understand that life doesn't start in South Africa and it ends up in Africa, if I in South Africa. And that takes us to the issue of when a foreigner commits a crime, then you arrest him. You treat him like somebody who committed a crime. Not because he's a Nigerian. You say these fucking Nigerians. Treat him as somebody who committed crime. If the law said amputate his hand, amputate his hand as a Nigerian because he committed a crime. Not because that's this special thing that he is a Nigerian. That stigma needs to be stopped. Do you understand? Because it's totally, totally unacceptable. I am somebody who is proud. I'm an Igbo man. You can see the white dress. I'm an Igbo man. And there's no place that I've never traveled in South Africa yeah, except in Northern Cape because of what I do. So wherever you see me, I said I'm an Igbo man. I'm a Nigerian. I can't say because of Nigeria that's a stigma about Nigerians in South Africa. Then I have to deny that. No. Because Nigerians, just like what my sister has said, have contributed immensely in the economy in South Africa. Very, very much. Can you imagine all the whole areas where Nigerians are living and they say all the whole Nigerians lives, those houses will be empty. Who is going to stay there? They won't stay for free. You understand? So let me come on the economy side. Nigeria and South Africa, the thread goes on very, very well. And the MTN Nigeria if there's a place that have made so much money they have never thought about it in this life it is in nigeria they have wrecked money Shoprite is doing well in nigeria all the whole departmental stores in from south africa they are doing well because nigeria we have the population we have the business you understand now my sister mentioned something about porous borders and this thing of stigma because you are query 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 ever since i grew up to know what is foreigners and live in Nigeria. I've never seen in Nigeria where Kumba Kumba is pursuing foreigners in Nigeria. 
ever since. You can stay in Nigeria as long as 20 years. Nobody will ask you for papers. This thing of papers is only in South Africa. In Nigeria, once you arrive in Nigeria, we are in Nigeria. The only time you know yourself as a foreigner is when they say people with foreign passport this side, people with Nigerian passport this side. Once you come out, you are part of me. Nobody will even ask you where is your paper. So let us, you know, let the authorities remove this thing that, you know, foreigners, foreigners, foreign. Nobody is foreigner. They say wherever you see a black man is an African. And Africa is our continent. We are not foreigner to anywhere. It's only the whites who are foreigners to African soil. A black man can never be a foreigner in his land. Thank you very much. Thank you.